Hello and welcome back to the channel and to another garage fabrication project and in today's video I'll be making a Da Vinci catapult. So to start with I was going to make a trebuchet but then I realised that the idea I had in my mind once I'd researched it wasn't a trebuchet at all it was a Da Vinci catapult. So with that said here are some components so it's going to be an all steel construction and steel and brass now I've got a lathe I can make uh, decent bush and pins and the bush is made out of brass uh, ammunition so we'll get cracking with the build now guys and see how we get on first job we'll make the ratchet wheel so I'm just going to Trim it down to size and then start cutting the teeth. Alright guys, cut some teeth onto this ratchet wheel, just got to dress them up with a file now. I'll do for that.
Okay guys, so if you're not familiar with the Da Vinci catapult, it's basically a leaf spring connected to a bow drill. So you've got an axle that runs across, an axle runs across there. You tension the axle with a ratchet, which I've already made. And that's also the locking mechanism for firing. So this ratchet will go inside this bush here. And then that will be welded to there. And then the axle goes from there to there. And another brass bush on that side. So I'll make another stub axle and then we'll start the assembly. Okay, that's the two stub axles made. Now just uh, assemble them into, assemble the stub axles into the axle now. Alright guys, I had one of them situations where I thought I'd pressed record when I'd actually pressed stop record and then when I put the camera in the corner of the garage away from the sparks I pressed record. So as a consequence I've got 49 minutes of 49 minutes of the camera staring in the corner of the garage and you, you missed all the build but anyhow this is the slammer for the catapult so that hits against the bump stop which probably will be set at about an angle like that and then that is the holder for the catapult we can put a bolt in there and then have these arms just slot in different lengths just to experiment with, more power etc So we've got the spring tensioner made, this is the equivalent to the leaf spring on the original Da Vinci catapult, so that goes in, that was in there, this is under tension and you um, wind the catapult back and the tension of this lever when you release the ratchet fires the catapult and I was going to use this spring to start with but I don't think it's going to be strong enough so I'll go with this one instead uh, push by suspension spring somehow fabricate that into there now and then connect the cable and all that remains is to sort out the lever for the ratchet 
First job, I've got to stop this pin spinning. I put that little uh, screw in there to hold that, to retain that pin, and then that will enable it to spin on the bushing. bit of oil and then bushes now and that will uh, that'll be fine that that's locked in now that pin so so next job now I've got to fabricate some means of holding that spring and then once the cable's connected to that it'll compress that spring and when I release the ratchet Alright guys, that's that. That's the tube we've just turned down there. And um, slightly bigger there than it is there, so the spring doesn't move. The spring doesn't slide up. And then simple matter of cranking the handle like that. And then we've got this draw cord to release the ratchet. Fire! 
thanks for watching the video guys any suggestions or ideas on the design of the catapult put them in the comments below i will be making another video um, when i get the chance to take it to a field so i've got a bit of open space because i don't really want to fire it down the side of the house hit that subscribe button guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one